Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, so a few days ago, I was able to share some thoughts about the Octane Render Kit. And I received a lot of feedback from many of you. And, and I truly, truly appreciate the time that you guys take to comment and uh, send in your questions. So please keep those questions coming. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you take some time to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. So one of the cool things that uh, came out uh, recently was uh, the Octane Render Kit. And so I took some time to share some thoughts on uh, how to uh, to use it and how the skin, uh, the, the DAR Studio characters in using the Octane Render had been, had been improved greatly. Now, one of the comments that came up was that uh, the eyes still looked terrible and I have a solution for you guys. So <laughs> please stay with me. Uh, let's get uh, started actually. I'll go back to Daz Studio and I have this uh, character set up here. And if we switch to Nvidia IRA real quick so we see what it looks like. So this character that we're looking at now hasn't been converted to uh, using the Octane Render Kit. Okay, so these are still what we're looking at. Uh, these are IRA shaders that you're looking at. So I'm going to walk you through the process how to uh, fix the eyes. So our main focus today is to get the eyes to look, you know, so you get that reflection in the cornea and also in the eye moisture, which is, uh, and also the sclera. Okay, so that's our goal today, is uh, using Octane, the Octane Render Engine, we, to be able to convert the eye, the eyes so that they look good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn off uh, NVIDIA IRA, go back to the smooth shaded mode. So the thing that has been causing all the problems in, uh, with this conversion is found if we go to the preferences uh, go to the preferences tab and the octane render engine so here's the culprit you see where it says it says surface, surfaces material filter yes so this right here by default it's gonna look like it's gonna have these words in there so this is what it's going to look like when you first open this uh, plugin, the Octane Render plugin, the free one. And but I've also gone ahead and upgraded mine to 2020.1.5.55 prime. <laughs> Such a long number. But that's what I'm using currently. So in case you don't have uh, the current version, please go to the, uh, the plugin information. Over here you can find the link to, get to download the, the plugin. Okay, so under preferences, uh, this is the culprit. So what it does is that uh, when you first load the plugin, it excludes the conversion of the cornea, the eye surface, and the eyebrow. That is the problem. So what you need to do is delete, select and delete, and then click set. Okay, so that when the plugin starts, it doesn't exclude any materials for conversion. Okay. So let me go ahead and close. And so you see right now uh, it, that if we turn the car, rotate the camera and please turn on live over here. Okay. And under the kernel, we can also, um, I've put it to like 500 samples uh, to kind of speed up the process. And actually let me drop it down all the way to 100. So that is moves a little bit quicker. Okay. So it looks terrible. Well, not like terrible, but it doesn't look realistic. So these materials have not yet been converted. So we'll go through, we'll bring up the Octane Render main panel. We go to the materials and you notice that uh, right now mine is set to auto. So when I first loaded the scene, it went through and auto converted the materials to look like this. Okay. So the, then we need to make sure we link up all the materials. So select the character here, Amnunet for Kemsit. It could be, uh, if you have a Genesis 8 character, you simply find it in this display right here and right click on it, textures for 16 octane materials, and then we can replace the active materials. But before we do that, 
let's go and use the octane render kit so we can convert the the skin shader to look better you know to improve on this so right now let's move this over here for a second uh, zoom out and go to the scene tab make sure our character is selected okay and we're gonna use one of these uh skin uh the shaders this uh, for the different skin tones and you find that in your my does 3d library go all the way down to people and then genesis uh, 8 female and under genesis 8 female you're gonna find the materials and then the octane render kit okay so find uh, which uh, skin tone you want to apply to your character and I'm gonna choose uh, let's try this skin tone makes us slightly darkish and it's not so glossy so I prefer for this character yeah let's do that double click on it and we'll go through and convert the different materials and it will look like something is messed up but it's not we just need to plug the uh, textures back in there so we go bring up the octane render panel again and it docked which i didn't want so just right click and undock the pen and let's scale it up a little bit just make sure that it doesn't dock <laughs> again all right so go to the materials tab select our character uh, right click and textures for 16 octane materials then choose replace all active materials and pay attention to what happens in the uh, render panel over there so let's see what happens down here okay so the character has been uh, the texture has been up, up updated so we can zoom in now Let's go to the eye so because that's the the main thread so you see that so that is the problem once you go once you change this setting the preferences and you remove that it takes away <laughs> i mean it fixes the eyes so you can get back the glossiness and the reflection and all that so that was the problem initially in uh, the previous video so i hope this helps so now we can actually focus on just uh converting so not convert but rather that beautifying this character uh, by doing different lighting presets so if you don't like the way this looks and actually if we go to the material up here in the the materials tab we're going to open the node graph editor and so when you look at it it's going to have like this material here this it's a specular material but it's also going to have with another node for absorption so we can in the octane live sorry in the materials in the live database there is a material called let's look for cornea it's a simple material so it's a clear cornea right so that's the one we can also apply to just the cornea by itself so we we'll go to the cornea i bring over the live db i found this by the way by typing in cornea and now i can drag and drop it on here so i need to see this while we're doing that so this material is specifically an octane material that is designed for applying to the cornea and we can apply it to the cornea and the eye moisture as well so we'll go ahead and apply to the cornea okay and we'll show up here and then we can drag this copy and apply it to the eye moisture as well all right so now we have an octane material applied to the eye and now it's simplified it's just a corner material and you can go ahead and adjust the values in here as well so we can close that and let me adjust the environment so right now we don't have oh, we only have we're using the daylight environment but now you can switch to all the other different environments to see how well the character looks so you see this little reflection right here so i want to use that as a guide to see if it actually is fixed and i'm gonna focus on the eye and so i can rotate it and let's zoom in a tiny bit more i can move this over here 
and then rotate let's see if it catches that highlight because before it wasn't doing it so there we go so we have our cornea and the eye moisture using that uh, cornea material that's improved so now the, what's left is really just uh, to play around with the settings so we can go to the uh, bring back our render node over here uh, sorry the octane render tab go to the settings we can switch to in we can do the high the render settings for the oct octane render kit render high settings so it makes it uh, ready it switches everything to high like path tracing path tracing path path tracing <laughs> and we can uh, zoom out so we can work on this character a little bit more all right so now the skin shader is improved and the eyes are looking great as well now what i didn't do was the we had to do the eyelashes as well so we'll go to our character here go into the partials and we're going to double click on the eyelashes here double click okay and then under the materials go to the eyelashes uh, right click textures for two octa materials and replace all active materials and so that should fix that so now we have a beautiful character with a nice skin shader with the eyes working properly and so i think in a way that completes our uh, our tutorial today but it also means that what uh the feedback that i got from the the previous youtube video is that hey guys <laughs> the characters can look great not just the skin but uh, also the eyes as well so that's it that is the that is the insight i wanted to share with you and a quick tutorial on how to get this to work and so let me see what i can do now uh let's uh, have fun with the image here i'm gonna bring up uh different let's see if we can choose a different environment because i want to see if i can beautify this a little bit more no that's not fun let's try artistic maybe okay yeah artistic kind of brings out the nice shader it's uh for this and double click to see a little bit more okay so there we go guys we have an, and uh we have a character with a nice beautiful eyes a skin a nice uh, shader with a subsurface scattering using octane so this is not just relegated to uh iray you can have a beautiful character with beautiful eyes with beautiful skin texture in the octane render using the octane render kit and so i highly recommend it guys uh ch take it uh, some time to go through and i pointed out in my previous story of where to find some of the extra settings but in this video we are so we are i'm responding to the comment that came in from this uh, tutorial right here to show that uh, we can have beautiful eyes okay <laughs> i hope that was helpful and uh, again i i ask you that uh, spare some time please uh, to subscribe and hit that notification bell so your this notification bell like right here just go ahead and click it and please click like uh, share the video with others and uh, kindly subscribe I'll be back with a, another tutorial and as always I encourage you to dare to dream big don't give up on your dream guys I'm doing my best to stay focused on my dream as well uh, working on the Nkosa and Nancha this has been a dream like I think it started in uh, 2012 I, I've stayed with it and with time I've actually seen the results like winning uh, several awards with, with this uh, short film that I made and it took actually putting in time every day and I, I use the octane render a lot in my uh, videos and so I, that's why I highly recommend uh, the octane render in, in Dial Studio as well 
Uh, thank you so much for your support, guys. And uh, please stay safe uh, during the, uh, the, this pandemic. I'm praying for you guys. We, we are in this together and we can come out. And I'll always do my best to share more insights so that we, we as uh, storytellers, uh, even as we're working from home during this uh, difficult time, that we can find and use tools that can help us get to our dreams. So thank you so much and uh, see you next time. Again, please spare a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to this one as well. <laughs> and feel free to share your YouTube channel in the comments below so that I can follow you as well. Uh, thank you so much, guys. So this is the main YouTube channel. It's, it's actually growing. I'm, I'm blown away by the number of people that have uh, subscribed in this short period of time. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's actually happening. So if you have a, a YouTube channel and you want me to follow you as well, please uh, share it in the comments below so that we can support each other. Thank you so much and see you next time. Uh, and a quick recap is that I wanted to point out that using the Octane Render Kit, you can definitely have good eyes just like you would have in an uh, IRA. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. Uh, bye for now.